What's up guys? It's been a long demanding week, but hey, I can't complain. I'm blessed, uh, happy to be here with you guys. I managed to squeeze this in because I want to keep reaching out to lives that need to be touched and, and lives that need to hear this message. But um, just staying busy, staying busy. But I want to shine some light onto a topic that I feel is very important. And the topic of today's video is going to be, life is not a race, take your time. I just want to apologize in advance. I sound tired and that's because I am tired. It's like I said, it's been a long week. I'm exhausted at this point. It's Saturday. It's about to be Sunday. My only day off is Sunday, but bear with me. Yes, I'm a little tired, but hey, I'm going to suck it up for this video. Anywho, life is not a race. Take your time. Oftentimes I notice that people always seem like they're in a rush. They seem like they never have time for even the slightest human interaction. They're either walking with their head down, they're just preoccupied and they're kind of just like canceled out, they're signed out of reality. And I think this is because they're so consumed with the idea that I need to do something now or it will never get done. And I think that before you decide to think that way, you have to understand that time is on your side. A lot of people often mistaken the whole concept of time. And I believe that instead of thinking time is against you, I believe that you should think time is on your side. Society has given us this blueprint where it's like you need to be successful in the shortest amount of time possible. In theory, this is a good blueprint to have. It's a good mindset to adopt, but this causes, causes us to overlook the minor and priceless details of life. I feel like we're always so rushed and so stressed because we choose to be that way and it really doesn't have to be that way. We forget to spend quality time with our families, quality time with our friends, uh, just quality time with our community, but we never forget to, to be just constantly, you know, on the grind and, and making a living. And this isn't bad. We have to make a living. We have to sustain our lives, sustain a life. Um, you know, this is what our society has taught us. And what, what I'm trying to say is we have to be aware that we can't always be tunnel vision. We can't always be, you know, focused like a laser beam. Um, we have to be aware that we have to set a time, set a time apart to be with the ones that we love. We have to set time apart for our hobbies, for things that we like to do. Um, whether that's going to the gym, going for a hike, uh, going and taking pictures, um, cooking, reading, whatever that might be. We have to make sure that we're not so caught up in our in our daily grind but we have to uh, make sure that we're setting time apart for ourselves it's the healthy thing to do and unfortunately people get so caught up in the nine to five rat race that it's like people get to the point where they become dehumanized it's like people aren't people anymore they're not human beings anymore they they're almost like emotionless zombies I feel like they're inauthentic 
Um, and unfortunately, this is this is how you can get if you don't become consciously aware of of the amount of time that you really do have on your hands and how you can utilize that time. Life is all about the journey, not so much about the destination. And I'm not trying to say don't work, don't be on your grind, don't hustle. That's not what I'm trying to say. It's imperative that you hustle, it's imperative that you grind, it's important to live a healthy, sustainable lifestyle. All I'm trying to say is we shouldn't get so caught up in our daily routine to the point where we're always stressed out, we're always unhappy, uh, we're always rushed. We shouldn't reach that point, but rather we should enjoy the little things along the journey, the little bits and pieces of a of time that we get to spend with our friends and family, um, the good deeds that you're able to to participate in throughout the daily lives of other people. This video isn't meant to disrespect those who are constantly hustling. It's not meant to do that. It's never my intention to to throw shade in the ways of people who work hard. But my intention is to help those realize the people who have a hard time um, taking a break from work when they get back home and living their normal lives once they get back home. Um, my intention is to help those um, people develop skills to to help them transition from the workplace back to home and enjoy their daily lives and live happily you know throughout the week that is again the purpose of this video and like I said life is not a race just give yourself permission to relax to chill out it doesn't always have to be go, 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 110 miles per hour every day. You have to let yourself relax, give yourself permission to do things that make you happy and escape reality. So take your time with life, even if it's a struggle, even if you're dealing with a struggle, with a challenge, take your time with it. We do our best work when we're relaxed. And one way to become relaxed is understanding that time is on your side. So therefore, take your time with life. It's not a race, ladies and gentlemen. Life is not a race, but rather it's a journey to reaching your full potential. I hope this video helped you guys. Uh, like I said, I'm a little tired, so my my thoughts are everywhere right now, and I'm just exhausted at this point. But um, I really do hope that this video helped you, and I hope that when you need to, you can refer back to it in times of need. Maybe you can share it with a friend or a family member. Um, that'll be um, very cool. So if you ever decide that you need to share it, share the video. Um, but otherwise, you have it for you. Uh, you have it as a resource. And I'm glad I could help. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good day.